Hi, so in this video, I'm going to be solving another question that is uh, from past papers, obviously. And this question kind of involves uh, angle properties of circles, you can say, and uh, a bit of just angle properties, not necessarily related to circle. And this question, which is my which is my absolute favorite because this is one of the most challenging questions that I've come across and it just takes you right to the very edge of uh, of your of your understanding of uh, angle properties and uh, similar and congruent triangles so yeah okay maybe maybe not similar and congruent triangles as such but yeah the understanding of triangles in general and uh, how angles work angle properties basically so yeah let's let's get straight to it so this i should mention is from winter 2014 which means october november 2014 paper 2 variant 2 so it's uh, quite an old question so Okay, so it says here A, B, C, and D are points on the circumference of the circle, and A, C is a diameter. All right, D, F is perpendicular to A, E, so have a good look at D, F, and have a good look at A, E. Yeah, so they've made a 90 degree angle there. So far, so good. Fine, A, E, D. Let's have a look at the marks. So it's a one mark question. That means it shouldn't be too difficult. So A, E, D is basically this angle. Yep, this is a no brainer. So all I got to do is I got to consider this triangle. So a triangle means that the sum of interior angles is going to be 180. I know the two out of the three angles. So all I'm going to do is 80 minus 90 minus 67. So that's it. I have 23 degrees. All right. Oops, sorry. So I should, I should mention here how I've done it. So 180 minus the sum of 90 and 67, which is equal to 23. Anyway, so that's that. Next, we have uh, find CBE giving a reason for your answer. So CBE, all right, let's have a look at CBE. So CBE is basically this angle. Again, this should also be a no-brainer for you because if you look at the line AC, which is right over here, uh, yeah, so if you look at line AC, angle B is opposite to the line AC, which means it's going to be 90 degrees. And the question says here that AFBE is a straight line, which means that the sum of interior angles on this line is, uh, sum of angles are basically going to be 180 degrees. So 180 minus 90, that's it. And I should mention here, so CBE is equal to 90 degrees because, why is it, why is it 90 degrees? Because ABC is 90 degrees. So I'll mention here that angle ABC is equals to 90 degrees as it is opposite the diameter. So you got to be very clear and to the point. Okay. So there's no need to write, uh, uh, there's no need to write unnecessary statements. Okay. Be very specific. So ABC is 90 degrees. Why is it 90 degrees? Because it's opposite the diameter as it's opposite the diameter. Yeah. So that's that. Explain why DF is parallel to CB. All right. So let me highlight DF for you. So DF, okay, DF is parallel to CB. Now, the reason why these two lines are parallel is because, well, they, they have 90 degrees, okay? I mean, this angle right here, angle DFB and angle CB is equal to 90 degrees. So this pro this concept is applied to corresponding angles. So that's, that's the reason that I'm gonna give. So I'm gonna say that angle DFB, okay, so I'll write it over here. Let me switch to the color red. So I'm gonna write angle DFB is equal to angle CBE, CBE, which is equal to 90 degrees. And just to be sure, mention, uh, sorry, I was gonna write alternating, but that's not, that's not the reason, corresponding angles. So yeah. Okay, so that's that. How many marks uh, was all of this worth? One, two, and three. Okay, so one mark each, and uh, so that means three marks. Okay, so now this, as I mentioned, is my absolute favorite question. And uh, I'm gonna try and break it down as much as I can. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna be, uh, so what I'm gonna be doing here is not assuming that this angle is equal to this. So I'm just gonna, so just that I don't have to write P, Y, Z or Z, Y, R. So I'm just gonna name them A, B, C and so forth. Okay, so and so forth. So it says prove that the perimeter of triangle P, X, Z. So let me highlight P, X, Z for you, so P, X, Z is in fact let's let's read the question first let's take a step back let's read the question it says in the triangle pqr the bisectors of pqr now what what exactly do you mean bisectors now the bisectors of angle pqr basically tells us that this line qy is cutting the angle pqr into half okay so and prq intersect at y so again uh, this line the line ry is basically bisecting this angle so that means it's cutting it into half so these two angles are going to be equal okay so something got to keep in mind 
All right, let's see what it says now. Next, it says prove that the perimeter of triangle PXZ. So let me highlight that for you. So PXZ is right over here is equal to PQ plus QR. So this, the question is asking us to show that is, is basically the sum of the lengths PQ and PR, okay? So that's, that's what we got to do. So let's take a step back and see how we can do that exactly, okay? So PXZ is basically going to be equal to PX plus XZ plus PZ. Okay, or if you want, you can further split up XZ into XY and YZ plus PZ, all right? So this is what PXZ is equal to, okay? Now, this I need to show is basically the same as PQ plus PR, okay? So I haven't really done anything as yet, okay? I've just rewritten the, the, what I'm supposed to do, okay? So now here's, here's the point from which it starts, okay? Okay, now, to make things easy, what I'm gonna do is, as I mentioned earlier, that I'm gonna say that let this angle be equal to A, okay, and let this angle be equal to B, okay? So let's write this down so that the examiner knows exactly what is A and what is B. So here's what I've done. What I've done is that I am taking angle R, Y, Z, to be equal to A, all right, let's write this down, let angle R, Y, Z equals to A, and also let angle X, Q, Y equal to B, okay? Now, once you've done this, so you don't have to write this over and over again, which kind of gets confusing at times, okay? So this should help us and make our life easy. Okay, so now that I've done this, let's see what else uh, are, let's see what other angles are equal to and what other angles are equal to B. So, Immediately, because of this pair of parallel lines, I know that this angle will also be equal to A. Okay, so I'm gonna write this down. I'm gonna, so this this is an assumption. So, uh, no, not exactly an assumption, but yeah, this is something that I've uh, kind of uh, uh, used so that it's easy for me to express these angles, okay? So, what I'm gonna do next is that angle Y or Q, let me see how many marks this is. So this is three marks. So I got to be, so I need to write every, so I, I need to write a logical reason behind every statement that I make. So angle Y or Q is also going to be equal to A. And the reason for that is because alternating angles. All right, you can see that you have a pair of parallel lines and angle, it's not just this angle that's going to be equal to, it's not just this, this pair of angles that are going to be equal. In fact, since this angle is also going to be B, as I mentioned, QY, as the question mentioned, in fact, that QY is the angle bisector, this angle will also be equal to B, okay? So let's write this, let's write this down also, that angle X, Y, Q is equal to B because of alternating angles, okay? Now what happens is, something really interesting happens is that, now remember, this angle will also be equal to A because again, it's a bisector. Now what happens is that immediately we have a pair of isosceles triangles. So what I know now is that yz is going to be equal to zr. Now, why is that? Because we're looking at an isosceles triangle. Okay, and not just that, xq is going to be equal to xy for the same reason that we're looking at an isosceles triangle. Okay, so let me just mark these two lengths. Okay, so now what happens? So, pxz, remember, was basically equal to px plus xy plus yz plus pz, okay. So here's here's what we have done so far. So what we have done is that px plus xy, now what I can do is I can replace xy with p with xq because I know that's what xy is equals to. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna rewrite this down. In fact, px plus xy plus yz plus pz, okay. So I can replace PXY with, so I'm just gonna rewrite PX as it is, and I can replace XY, which is this length with XQ. So XQ, and let's see what else we've done. So YZ, which is apparently equal to ZR. So I'm gonna replace YZ with ZR, and I'm gonna rewrite PZ as it is. Okay, now this is the part where it all comes together, okay? magically comes together. Now, if you notice, it says here that PX plus XQ. Now, if I go back to the triangle, PX plus XQ 
regardless of what their lengths are, and in fact, that's a confusion that most students have in this question is that we don't have any lengths, so how exactly do we go about it? That's okay, you can still do it. Px plus xq will basically sum up and give you pq. So that means this sums up and gives you pq. Now, zr plus pz. Now, if we go back, zr plus pz. Now, what you can do is just, you can rearrange it and write it nicely. And you can write this as pz plus zr. Now, what's pz plus zr? They basically sum up and give you pr. And there you go. That's it. That's what you were supposed to do. You're supposed to show that they, uh, that the perimeter of triangle PXZ is basically the same as PQ plus QR. And we, we just did that. And remember, whenever, uh, whenever you have a question in which you're not given any values, so you've got to be very clear as when you're expressing angles like over here, since I, I don't want to write uh, angle PYZ and stuff like that over and over again. So I just named them A and B. So make sure that uh, you're allowed to do that as long as you mention it clearly in your working so that the examiner, uh, so that the examiner knows that what exactly you're referring to when you're talking about A and what exactly you're referring to when you're talking about B. So yeah, uh, this was quite a comprehensive question. And I really hope you guys have understood this. And uh, that's, that's all for this video. See you guys in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.